Well, thanks again. Thank you for coming. Appreciate it. We great environment today. Um, I want to thank the students, the community, you know, for coming out and supporting. As you guys saw, I mean, we play hard. Uh, we compete like crazy. Now we got to complete the games, and we didn't do that today. But I mean, I'm proud of our guys. They're fighting. Uh, we played an outstanding team today. That's fighting for an NCAA at-large bid. Uh, well coached, and, and Michigan was uh, four points, uh, four points better today. Than us. Steve, what is there any one thing that's preventing you guys from? No, I mean, it's a, you know, you guys got to understand it's a process. This is the best league in the country. I don't care what anyone says. Uh, night in and night out from top to bottom, from the number one team to number 13, this team, this league is really good. And look at the team's records and look at the coaches that are coaching at these places. And, uh, you know, our guys are fighting. Um, today we didn't rebound, which is something that we usually do, but we made free throws. We didn't turn the ball over, so we improved in those areas. And we played a team that could really shoot the ball. And, uh, you know, we got to keep fighting. Nothing's easy. Nothing's going to be easy or given to us in this league. Um, our players know that. They come every day. They have to fight. And, uh, you know, we're playing teams that are good basketball teams. So we got to complete the deal. We got to make that big stop. We got to, you know, get a good whistle maybe would help us too down the stretch. And uh, we also need to, you know, make some plays on the offensive end. So any one of those areas would help us a little bit down the stretch. How did you feel the execution was down the stretch? Because you're competing, you're battling back, and it's a one-game Yeah, great. Yeah, yeah. You know, we, we executed the plays I wanted to. Corey got to the rim on a play that I wanted. And, you know, these guys fought. We got, you know, got an open 3-2 at the end there. Um, you know, and uh, like Corey teed it up. You got to tee it up to win it. And, uh, yeah, I mean, these guys are doing a really good job, and they've improved in that area tremendous from earlier in the season. How were you able to, it seemed early on they were hitting, Michigan was hitting a bunch of threes, but it seemed, was it just go, coming out more on them? Or just, well, uh, I mean, they're so good at shooting the ball, it's crazy. I mean, they make free throws usually, and they shoot threes, and every guy on their team that steps on the court, they're unique in that way. Every guy that steps on the court can make threes. I thought we did a good job. Uh, you know, they pick on fives, <laughs> and fives have a hard time guiding guys in, in, on the perimeter. Um, and they did a good job. We subbed, you know, I thought Shaq gave us good minutes today, especially on the defensive end, you know, of the floor. We were in tune. And, you know, they knew the game plan. I told them after they hit their first couple that day, if you guys didn't know, we've been talking about this for three days, that that's what this team does. Um, so they came out, you know, shooting the ball, and then we kind of settled into our defense, and I thought we, you know, did a really good job making it a little bit more difficult for them. I thought our pressure at times, too, you know, and, uh, you, you know, stalled them a little bit. Uh, definitely. I mean, I feel like the more of these close games last, to come down to the last two or three minutes, the more you have. I mean, the more comfortable we're gonna get, and the sooner or later we're gonna learn how to finish. And then when we start doing that, I feel like we could have at least five five more wins in conference this year that we don't have because of the last two or three minutes. So I feel like when we start learning how to finish, I mean, that's just gonna add to our win column. Hey, is part of that frustrating though, in the sense of that you could? I um, mean, yeah, it's frustrating knowing that we're we're right there in every game, and a lot of times we do have the lead, and then in the last two or three minutes we be going back and forth and end up giving up the lead and and just losing the close game. So I mean, yeah, it's frustrating, but I mean, we also try to look at it as a learning experience and just try to keep learning from it, so eventually we can start pulling these wins up. Uh, yeah, I mean, because those are two areas that we always, that we stress very, like, in every game. That's two things that we try to talk about a lot before the game is making free throws and limiting our turnovers. And as coach calls it, no pick sixes. And we didn't have any pick sixes today. So, I mean, if we can keep doing that, make our free throws and turn not turn the ball over, that's more shots for us. So, I mean, that's definitely going to keep us in the games. It's just we got to come down and start executing and finishing in the last couple of minutes. Steve, uh, Jonathan Laurent was a little more involved today. Is he, how has he been? You know, um, a little bit like our team, like he's he's getting better. But, you know, we have too many inconsistencies with our guys. And, and John was good today. He made his free throws. He gave us some power in the post against a physical team. But, uh, 
you know, we just have to get a little more consistent, and we don't have a huge margin for errors. So you guys will talk about the end of the game, and I'll talk about the first five minutes of the game. You know, to me, we came out and we weren't ready to play. I had to use a quick timeout. We gave up threes, and those are plays we've gone over and need to be locked in. You know, and our guys got to really understand that every point in the game is critical to a team that's not great scoring team, you know. So um, those plays are just as important. And I'll look back at this tape now, and I'll be in the first half. I'll say here's the seven or ten points that we could have held them down to, and the game doesn't come down to a two-point game or a four-point game or whatever it is. So, I mean, we have to play a full 40 minutes. We're not one of those teams. This team, I've seen them score 25 minutes in three, four minutes of a game. So this team's a highly efficient offensive team. They can go in droughts. We can't. we got to play 40 minutes of great defense from the start. We can't make mistakes, um, you know, and then the game doesn't come down to that. But John has been, you know, working hard and, and, and doing a good job, as I think all of our guys have been improving, and I'm proud of the effort always. And they come to practice every day, and they're ready to go. And we'll be, we'll be ready when we have uh, Maryland next. Thank you, everyone. Appreciate you coming. Thank you.